And the next thing I'm going to slip in here very quickly is um, I did promise that we would make the ceiling plan. So we're kind of working along. Things are going good. We're about to start to, to um, model some architectural uh, stuff. So uh, what I want to do is go in and make some ceiling plans. So I'm going to say view, floor plan. I want to create a reflected ceiling plan, RCP of what levels? Well I already have a level 1, I want a level 2 and a level 3. I don't need a reflected ceiling plan of the roof level. And hit OK and I'm going to get some new ceiling plans over there. If I go to my zero one, 1, now the only problem is these guys missed out on the dimensioning aspect so again I'm going to have to unfortunately go through here and turn on all my bubbles and I'll let you kind of go through and do that and what I can do is pick on here let's use a filter okay let's do this let's do a big window box and let's go to filter because there's not much in here and I'm going to say there's six dimensions two four six so I'm going to say check none I'm going to grab the dimensions and say okay so I've selected all the dimensions using a filter I'm going to go control C on the keyboard or you can hit copy Okay, click out. Now I'm going to go to level 2 and there's nothing there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to modify. I'm going to say paste to selected levels, ceiling plan 2 and ceiling plan 3 using a control button. Hit OK. It's going to do that. So now my I have a um, level 3 ceiling plan. I have a level 2 reflected ceiling plan and I have a level 1 and they all have the grid lines and they all have the dimensions and all I have to do is sit here with drink my cup of coffee and grab these guys turn them on and off and then we're ready to do a save and we'll come back in our next lesson talk a little bit about what happens if a level or a grid line moves in the linked model